Hello guys, it is Kate Theories here and the Beaker Girls Series 2 is finally here. And this is the last series of Tracy Beaker for now. And it's kind of going to be the last time for Tracy Beaker in general as the dumping ground has basically said goodbye to the character. I did a video a few months ago about why the new series 10 of the dumping ground has completely left the Tracy Beaker franchise and I'll link it down below if anyone wants to check it out. But watching the Beaker Girls has made me realise once again, is the Beaker Girls Tracy Beaker the same Tracy Beaker that we've seen for years on our screens? Well, let's finally today come to an answer. But before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on so that you get notified every time I make any brand new dumping ground videos. Ever since My Mum Tracy Beaker came out, I have been constantly questioning whether this new era of Tracy as a mum is the same Tracy that we have watched in the story of Tracy Beaker and Tracy Beaker Returns, because there are so many similarities between them, but also so many differences and so many contradictory retcons that just make everything seem out of place if you were to watch it all the way through. Let's establish what we know is definitely linked. Tracy Beaker Returns and The Dumping Ground. This one is a no-brainer. It has the same casting, the same setting, and The Dumping Ground Series 1 is basically just a continuation of Tracy Beaker Returns Series 3, although without Melanie for some reason. Not only that, but all of the cast talk about their experiences in Tracy Beaker Returns a lot, and when Tracy is at Mike's wedding in The Dumping Ground, it ends with her saying she's missed it, with Liam by her side, who was of course her sidekick in Tracy Beaker Returns, like, they're definitely connected. But here is where we come to our first big problem. In these shows, Tracy Beaker is a care worker. But throughout all of the Beaker Girls, you would think Tracy Beaker has never stepped foot back into a care home since she left as a child. In the newest episode, Tracy is fostering Jordan, but things seem to be a bit off. She knows what she needs to do purely because Cam has told her. If it wasn't for Cam, she would be absolutely clueless. Does this sound like someone who has worked as a care worker before and at the end of series 3 become a fully qualified care worker so therefore has worked in multiple care homes before? It's especially odd when Cam says All you need to do is look after Jordan like you've looked after Jess. Why did I think I could do this? Sure, raise up Jordan like Jess, but surely you should also use skills from dealing with kids in care who have had bad and similar experiences before. And it's not like living with a care kid is all new to Tracy whatsoever. She's lived with Lily for ages in Tracy Beaker Returns, so she knows what's needed to be in a place for fostering. Plus, she's had training on it if she was a care worker. And then there's this strange scene at the end of the episode where Cam is comforting Tracy, and Tracy says, What about my own files? We had a whole episode of Tracy Beaker Returns about Tracy finding bits from her file, and surely as a care worker, she would have looked at her files about her mum. This is Tracy Beaker after all. She breaks all of the rules. All of these contradictions between the Beaker Girls and Tracy Beaker Returns makes me believe that maybe the Tracy in Tracy Beaker Returns is not the same Tracy in the Beaker Girls. Then there's also the logistical problems of Jess herself. When Tracy returns in the dumping ground for Mike's wedding, there is no mention of Jess whatsoever. Now, Danny Harmer has spoken about this, saying, uh, Yes, I did go back to the dumping ground for Mike's wedding, and no, I didn't mention a daughter, but that's not to say that she exists. But even then, the dumping ground Tracy was happily together with Seth. If she was to have had Jess, then she would have needed to have broken up with Seth right away, which I find very unlikely. I've made a whole video dealing with all of this and how it could technically work, but also technically not work, and you can go and check that out if you want to. There'll be a link in the description down below. So, the Beaky Girls might not be a part of the same universe as Trace Beaker Returns and the dumping ground, but then that begs the question of, which one is the story of Tracy Beaker, the original show a part of? Is it a part of the My Mum Tracy Beaker franchise or is it a part of the Tracy Beaker Returns franchise? For years, I would have said the story of Tracy Beaker is definitely related to Tracy Beaker Returns. I mean, when we first see Tracy and Mike reunite, Mike even mentions, How's Cam and Gary? Cam's fine. 
we don't talk about Gary. And we even see clips from the story of Tracy Beaker episode Hollywood in Shadows. But then the dumping ground came in and practically ripped it all apart and that is with Mike's ending. I can't stand it for many reasons but the biggest one is because they basically retconned Mike's character. Because in the story of Tracy Beaker it was very clear he was never in care. Just look at the final episode with Mike's story of his dad and his mum that he tells to Tracy to comfort her. But in the dumping ground it is revealed that Mike was actually in care all along. Sure, lying to some of the care kids I get, but not Tracy Beaker, not his best man. So does that mean that Tracy Beaker returns and the story of Tracy Beaker aren't connected? In that case, is the story of Tracy Beaker and the Beaker girls connected instead? Well, we do have the fact that both of these shows were based on books, whereas Tracy Beaker Returns and The Dumping Ground were only inspired by the books of Jacqueline Wilson. Could that be a sign that these two are connected and not connected to the other shows? There's also the fact that both shows use the book's names for the characters, for example, Weedy Peter. Let's also not forget the obvious, Tracy Beaker has curly hair in both of these, but in Tracy Beaker Returns and The Dumping Ground, she has straight hair. Now, of course, this is purely because of Danny Harmer's choice as an actor, but maybe it's a sign that they're actually different franchises and Tracy with straight hair is a different Tracy to Tracy with curly hair. And to tie it up together, you can see a picture of the story of Tracy Beaker cast in Tracy's flat, but there is no sign of anything from Tracy Beaker Returns. We've also got the general vibe of all the shows. The story of Tracy Beaker and the Beaker Girls are much more lighthearted. People are eating worms, they're getting stuck in ceilings, and it's just a lot more playful. Whereas Tracy Beaker Returns and definitely the earlier series of The Dumping Ground are a lot more darker in tone. People falling off the roof, getting run over by cars, being left on the streets, flats falling on top of people, you get the idea. And then there is the very strange thing that is my mum Tracy Beaker, which seems to just break everything all together. Because it has elements from literally every single show but also contradicts every show. It's got Tracy's self-published book which she of course wrote in Tracy Beaker Returns but just with a different cover. Jess even says at the beginning she was a care worker but there's still a lot off about it because why would Tracy just leave being a care worker and a writer to do all of these other jobs? But then if Tracy was a care worker in this universe why is she acting so weird in the Beaker Girls when fostering Jordan? Does that mean that my mum Tracy Beaker and the Beaker Beaky girls aren't connected either, like, which would be very strange, but then again, they did create two completely separate shows for them when they involved the same characters. And finally, we have Tracy's mum, Carly Beaker. In the story of Tracy Beaker, Tracy sees her once and then never wants anything to do with her. In Tracy Beaker Returns, she doesn't even really know her but wants to contact her but can't as we saw from the files bit. But then, in my mum, Tracy Beaker and the Beaker Girls, it's as if she's in normal contact with Carly Beaker and has been ever since she was little. She's also obsessed with the pink Cadillac car. I think what we found out from all of this is that every show is connected connected but isn't at the same time and I think it's just an episode to episode basis of what is and what isn't. Maybe one day we'll finally have confirmation of whether everything does fit together like a neat puzzle but for now I'm gonna go and keep watching the Beaker Girls. But anyway guys that's the end of this video I hope you have enjoyed it if you have make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this? Which shows do you reckon are connected? Which shows do you reckon aren't connected? And do you reckon Tracy is the same Tracy through all the shows or is there actually a different Tracy for each show? Let me know all your thoughts down there and as always we've been here on Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.